uh, the album cycle, so we've been doing a lot of press and promo, and we get asked a lot of twin questions, which is fine, and we have learned to, uh, you know, a answer with hopefully interesting responses. You know, like, do you still live together? Do you have bunk beds? Yeah. Have you ever tried to date the same girl? That, that, do you feel each other's pain? Those are real questions. Okay, that was just fine. We met, so we met, met a bunch of twins in Toronto recently. And, uh, yeah, they were great. Big, big, a lot of excitement for Toronto twins. Uh, but, anyways, one of the things that uh, we, everyone agreed, all of us twins, uh, is that Mostly, a lot of the stuff that people say about twins is is pretty much bullshit. And, and if I had any of this like telepathy or mind reading powers, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I mean, I've already would have taken advantage of it, and made a lot more money. And, um, but so exactly, casinos, yeah, casinos, whatever. I'm not. I just. I sort of think of that. I think a lot about that movie with the. <laughs> It's so fun, they just are gonna listen to you. <laughs> um, and I always think of that movie, Indecent Proposal, like with Woody Harrelson and Demi Moore. I think about that movie all the time because I'm like, what would I do for a million dollars? Like, I always think about it. Like, I for sure, if I was single, I would for sure have sex with an older businessman for a million dollars. Like, no strings attached, no questions. Like, now in your life, you would do Like, that? if I was single. Charity. No, I, no, I had to have sex with an old businessman for a million dollars. Give me to anyone. I'm just saying, I think about a decent proposal all the time and all the things I would do for a million dollars. One of them is actually just, is just okay, well, if anyone's keeping track for a million dollars, I would start a cat rescue. And I would just start Boyfriend don't have, and if you can uh, adopt one. Okay, I, I'm, he's not my boyfriend. He's just someone I've had sex with once, and then he gave me a million dollars. Do you want to borrow money, or you are not for cash? No, I just, why not top it up, is all I'm saying. But anyway, I'm not going to have sex with a man for a million dollars that I know of right now. Because uh, I'm in a relationship, and I want to I want to stay in the relationship. But one thing I think about... That was a weird tangent. I, I guess what I was going to say back to the twin thing was that uh, one of the things that people ask us about is if we feel each other's pain or if like her arm's broken, does my arm just break? <laughs> hey, I know this, this is all ridiculous until this very strange thing that happened last night, which is that Tegan over dinner, she got this like weird like thing in her finger and she was like, ah, my finger, and it was starting to turn all purple and blue and. We were like moving around and put it above your heart. And, you know, she just, yeah, it was really weird. And I was like, oh, she's so passionate. She's, like she's got like a blown blood vessel. Who knows? Whatever. So I get back to the hotel last night, and I was I was a little drunk, so it's a little blurry. But I don't remember hurting myself or like getting into an injury. But this is so fucked up. My exact same finger. I it's like you can't really see because of the lights right now. But I mean, trust me, it's it's like black and blue. Like I woke up this morning. And my whole finger is like black and blue, the same finger that she gave me that her finger. Twins! And I was like, this is stupid. I fucking hope that we can't feel each other's pain because when you have sex with an elder businessman, I'm like, oh. So fast up here. <laughs> well, you said talk and that was what was on my mind. <laughs>